POV, all the time with your head in the books, the sleepless nights, countless hours in sim, and so much more have led to this moment. Finally flying the plane of your dreams, the F-22 Raptor over snow-capped mountains. That's crazy, but let's talk about it. Being a pilot in the U.S. military is like being a part of the 1% of the absolute elite. And if you want to become one yourself, there's a few key pathways that you could take. So let's go ahead and break it down. First, you got to meet the educational requirements. You're going to need a bachelor's degree or a four-year degree from any accredited college or university. And no, your degree does not need to be in aviation. And you must also commission as an officer. Now, there's a few different ways that you can do that. Now you can go to the different academies. You could join ROTC, or after earning your bachelor's degree, you could attend OCS or OTS, and then later apply for flight training. Quickly after this, you'll have the pilot selection process. Now each branch has its different requirements, but usually there's some common elements such as an aviation selection test, a physical fitness exam, and a medical evaluation. Now after commissioning and passing all of your tests and physical requirements, you're ready for flight school. For example, if you're in the Navy or the Marines, you'll attend Naval Air Station Pensacola in Florida for flight training. Now after earning your wings and completing your flight training, you'll officially be a part of that top 1% of the elite, a pilot in the U.S. military. 